END here. On Tantra Junction, one thing is sure. To achieve success, one must embrace the life of an outlaw. Outlaw is a batching term introduced in Outlaws of Tantra Junction. It's also a formal type of coupling. An outlaw used as a noun is any permanent with one or more of these creature types. Assassin, mercenary, pirate, rogue or warlock. Several cards in Outlaws of Thunder Junction have abilities that refer to an outlaw you control. This phrase refers only to permanents on the battlefield, not spells or cards anywhere else. Outlaws are almost creatures, but a kindred permanent with one or more of the right creature types can also be an outlaw. Outlaw can also be used as an adjective to describe something else, such as a spell or a card in a zone other than the battlefield. For example, an ability may trigger whenever you cast an outlaw spell or return an outlaw creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. But how do you play outlaw? Let's build our battlefield and let's cast Vice Measure Gleeful Grenadier. Vice Measure Gleeful Grenadier has whenever another outlaw enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to target opponent. Any outlaw, any creature with outlaw is a normal creature spell. Therefore, when casted, it will go on the stack. There can be a response, there can be a counter, nothing happens and it will hit the battlefield. Who is considered as an outlaw? Any creature type assassin, like a Trata Deadly Fugitive. She is an outlaw, even though she is also a vampire. One damage to target opponent. Any creature type mercenary, like Ragdos the Muscle, he is also an outlaw. One damage to target opponent. Any creature type pirate, like Ragavan Nimble Pilfer, they are outlaws, one damage to target opponent. Any creature type rogue, like Agent of Treachery, he's also considered as an outlaw, one damage to target opponent. And last but not least, any creature type warlock, like the Beauty Ariette of the Charmed Apple. Even though she's the most beautiful of the realm, she's an outlaw, and another one damage to target opponent. So, this is how you play Outlaws. Remember, read carefully the creature types. Leave me a comment below what do you think about this new mechanic. And as always, subscription button is here. Subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.